the back. I was almost taken out by a very unusual type of ammunition in Ukraine. I want to know who supplied it. My name is Sanjay. And you are? No chit chat? There's no one at the other end. No one is going to help you anyway. Don't let it get cold. Why should I know who supplied it? The combination of metals is unique to India. If it's from India, it's from you. Fine assumption. Deduction. Deduction, then. Look, my friend. Guns are never conducive to a productive negotiation. I'm not the man they send to negotiate. Or the man they send to make deals. But I am the man people talk to. I can't. I can't tell you. You're an arms dealer, friend. This may be the easiest trigger I've ever had to pull. To say anything about a client would violate the tenants he lives by. If tenants are important to you, then you can tell me everything. Not while you have a gun to my husband's head. Sanjay, make a drink for our guest, please. Cheers. Priya. This is your operation. A masculine front in a man's wall has his users. The dealer you're looking for is Andrei Seto. The Russian oligarch. You know him? Not personally. Made his billions in gas. Moved to London. Said they'll be on the outs with Moscow. Very good. Except the gas he made his billions from was actually plutonium. None of which explains how or why you sold him inverted munitions. When I sold him the rounds, they were perfectly ordinary. So how did he get them inverted? I believe he's functioning as some sort of a broker between our time and the future. He can communicate with the future. We all do, don't we? Emails, credit cards, texts, anything that goes into the record speaks directly to the future. The question is, can the future speak back? And I'm supposed to find out. To get anywhere near Seta would take a fresh-faced protagonist. And you, how fresh as a daisy? Get close. Find out what he's receiving and how. Is it safe to involve British intelligence? I have a contact who's out of Seta's reach. You must have had a plan for getting out. Not one I love. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.